As you see, I have on my safety glasses. And here we go. Did you see that shit? Shit around here just keeps on happening. Can this, as seen on TV, gadget? Hi, Mark Gill here, and this is the Drain Jet from JML. Unclog 49,999 Orbeez from the drain? Well, we're fixing to find out. Now, this says 50,000 Orbeez, but I counted every one of them. 49,997, 49,998, 49,999. Hey, they freaking shorted us an Orby. We're gonna see if the pot blaster can actually blow them out. Now, this is just like you would do at home. Now, we removed the pop-up assembly, and I love these pop-up assembly styles like this. They're so easy to work and so easy to change out. But we've taken it out, and I can see We've got Orbeez all the way up in here. I can just almost touch them. So this would be like all the gel, all the gunk, everything down in there. Now, if you're new here and you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And, and if you know anybody that likes to see us do crazy stuff, you might share this video with them today because we're gonna have fun. We saw this and we ordered this off TV. Well. Really, it's off the internet. You know how we do things nowadays. But this actually looked like a pretty cool product. So you've got the toilet adapter. You've got the big rubber flange, the big green flange, and the little bitty rubber one. So we're gonna figure all this out. But here's the cool thing. This is not a toy. Be careful, it's locked and loaded. Well, maybe not. So anyway, we're taking the pot blaster, and as you see, it says the four-piece set, but there's actually five pieces. I know when I was young, my parents told me, look, if it's on TV, it's real, you know that. Well, maybe they didn't tell me that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what this thing will do, how it works, and it's actually pretty cool. So, I'm gonna set this right here, but what this is, number one, you have a safety relief valve. Now, you can loosen this up, to be honest, I don't know why you would, unless you had pumped it, charged it, and decided you are afraid to shoot air into the air. So what I'm gonna do is just sit here and play around with it for just a second. You pump this up, it says it will get to about 30 PSI. Now that's quite a bit of air pressure. So you pump it up till it gets really just hard to push in there. And then... That stuff works. Now. We've kind of played with this a few ways. We kind of think this goes on here, and this is what I call the splatter guard. So, if y'all have seen some of my other videos trying to blow out Orbeez with other products that really didn't work very well, well, the splatter guard can kind of keep some of that stuff from blowing up on you. Now, I will grab my safety glasses here in a moment and put them on, just because I don't want anything in my eyes, but, now you've got these other adapters, and I like this one because this one here just kind of snugs right up to that one. But now this doesn't go on, so what we got to do, this piece together, and as you see, I'm putting the small cone inside the large green one here, and then kind of twist locking it on that big green ball on the end. I have created a way to literally put this down over like a big basket strainer on a kitchen sink or something, and I've got something right here to keep it from just blowing right back up in my face. Now, we're gonna do something a little bit different here. Now make sure you hang around to the very end because I'm gonna show you what a real plumber uses and how it literally blows this thing apart. All right, so what we're gonna do on this one, I'm actually going to take out the little cone. Now, I like this because you've got the big one that you could use for basket strainers, you've got the toilet, you've got the anti-splash guard, you've got so many cool things here, but I'm gonna make it really simple. I'm gonna put the little cone on here. So what we can do is we can pump it up. And again, you pump it up until it just doesn't really wanna move much anymore. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take it, put it right down in there, and all you gotta do is
Now, as you can see, this really did kind of work. But we're gonna back this up. We're gonna put the Orbeez back in there because I'm gonna show you something different. All right, pop down and listen up because this is where it gets serious. This is the General Pop Cleaner's Kinetic Water Ram. After seeing the pop blaster, I thought I'd show you the master blaster. You can pump it up to about 80 PSI before it starts getting in the danger area. Now, we're probably not gonna go to the danger area, but I wanna pump it up. Okay, we are up to 70 PSI. 70. Now, trust me, I do not recommend trying this at home. We have got this, like I showed you, pumped up to 70 PSI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock it down in there, get it into a spot where I think it seals off really good. And guys, remember to plug the overflow. If you don't, it's gonna be a problem. Now, are y'all ready? Okay, maybe at 70, I overdid it just a little bit. I'm gonna put this right back together. Then we're gonna see what we can do with maybe say 50 or 60 PSI. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Now here we are at 60 PSI. Let's see if maybe we can't blow it apart. All right, checking it again, 60 PSI. Put everything back together, snugged it up, fill in my overflow. As you see, I have all my safety glasses. And here we go. Did y'all see that? Don't get me wrong. The pipe blaster or the master blaster, man, you got your choice. This really isn't bad. It actually, as you saw, blew it out, unclogged it. This one, maybe we overdid it just a little bit, but sometimes that's the way we roll. Do me a favor. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed or blasted. <laughs>